Um, In my humanities class, we've read Kurt Vonnegut's novel, Slaughterhouse-Five, um, in which he introduces us to a very unusual character. His name is Billy Pilgrim. Billy Pilgrim was a World War II veteran who also survived the bombing of Dresden. Billy Pilgrim had a mental disorder which caused him to believe he can time travel back and forth in time. Also, he believed he visits a planet called Trop Amador. Um, because of his unusual behavior, Billy Pilgrim has been diagnosed with schizophrenia. Um, schizophrenia is a mental health disorder which makes it difficult to tell the difference between real and unreal events. The causes of schizophrenia are genetic, which means you can inherit this from your parents. Though it is genetic, um, schizophrenia tends to skip generations, so it's not usually your parents you get it from. It goes down from your family line. Um, symptoms of schizophrenia are delusions, paranoia, inability to focus, apathy, visual, tactile, and um, auditory hallucination. So, I'll be focused on Billy Pilgrim's delusions, hallucinations, and his apathy. Um, so, Billy Pilgrim's delusion, his main delusion was that there was a planet called Tralfamador he often visits in the novel. Um, Billy Pilgrim pretty much spends a lot of time in Tralfamador. Um, he said too that he had been kidnapped by a flying saucer and 1967, the saucer was from planet Tralfamador, he said. Um, Billy Pilgrim truly believed that he had been kidnapped by the flying saucer. Um, nobody else was aware of the Tralfamadorians, no one else had ever seen them, which is proof that Billy Pilgrim was having a delusion, that this was all a delusion in Billy Pilgrim's head. Um, his hallucinations. Billy Pilgrim has all three different kinds of hallucinations. I'll focus on his auditory hallucinations. Um, auditory hallucinations are when you believe you hear something that is not really speaking to you, like an object, which apparently can't really talk to you. Um, he went into the kitchen where the moonlight called his attention to a half bottle of champagne. Um, drink me, it seemed to say. Regular people don't usually hear objects speaking to them. The fact that Billy Pilgrim in fact heard the bottle of champagne is evidence that proves that he was having an auditory hallucination. Um, in addition to Billy Pilgrim's delusions and hallucinations, he's also apathetic, which means he shows no emotion when somebody dies and in his lifetime, he usually uses a, a phrase, so it goes, which is very unusual for somebody to use when somebody that you love has passed away. Um, one hour later, Billy's wife was dead, so it goes. Billy Pilgrim's reaction to the death of his partner demonstrates emotional numbness because, say my wife died or my husband, um, I would be wrecked, and Billy Pilgrim is just, like, so it goes. Um, so, Billy Pilgrim experienced many deaths. In one, he was in an airplane on his way to an optometry conference with other of his co-workers. The plane crashed and he, he was, him and a co-pilot were the only survivors. Um, afterwards, once again, he says, so it goes. So, everybody was killed but Billy and the co-pilot, so it goes. Um, Billy Pilgrim experienced many deaths in his lifetime, which may have caused him to be apathetic or indifferent towards death in general, um, which is a symptom of schizophrenia. So, people may argue that Billy Pilgrim has PTSD because of his flashback episodes. But in fact, Billy Pilgrim does not only go back in time, he also goes forward. So, 
flashback episodes could not be considered one of his symptoms because he also is going for in time. Um, also, they argue that Billy Pilgrim is bipolar, but he's apathetic, and apathy is not a symptom of bipolar. Um, a bipolar person would never be apathetic, so Billy Pilgrim is, which does not fit the description of bipolar. Also, um, he is not depressed. He has some symptoms of depression, you can say, um, but he's not depressed because while he's time traveling to Tralfamador, he shows many symptoms of, let's say, he's enthusiastic while he's there, he's happy, so he could not be depressed. Um, so because of schizophrenia, because it's a chronic disorder, um, Billy Pilgrim would have to take medication for the rest of his life. Um, some medication that I guess doctors would recommend for him is Abilify and Chlorpromazine because they will decrease the dopamine in his brain. Dopamine is a neurotransmitter that um, causes his hallucinations. When dopamine is too high, he's hallucinating. So Abilify and Chlorpromazine will decrease his dopamine and he will Um, this is, these are the places where I researched to make my PowerPoint. Um, I would like to give a special thanks to Ms. Hatch, Ms. Regatti, Ms. Oya, Mr. No, Tati, Hernan, who couldn't be here, and my family for being here to support me, and all of you guys as well.